Hi, this is Dr. Ivan Meisner with businessnetworking.com, IvanMeisner.com, and today I want to talk about something that I think is totally and completely self-evident, but uh, apparently it isn't. I had a, a someone, a friend, uh, I really like and admire and respect her work a lot, send me an email that um, basically said that in the process, in the sales process and the delivery of service process, um, that the most important part of the uh, team was the franchisee, not the franchisor, not the customer, but was the franchisee, because if the franchisee is happy, then the customer will be happy and the franchisor will be happy. So here's my response to that. Bunk. Yes, bunk. Absolutely don't buy it for a split second. It's interesting that it was sent by a franchise association. <gasps> what a shock. All right, so let's start with what I know we can agree to. In a business where there is a franchisor, a franchisee, and the customer, clearly the franchisor is the least important in the process. I mean, that's the bottom line. They're the least important. I think we can all agree to that. So then it becomes the customer and the franchisee. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's all about the customer. It, it's always about the customer. Now, I'm not one of those guys who says the customer is always right, because they're not. However, you never tell them they're wrong, ever. Never tell the customer they're wrong. That said, the truth is that without the customer, you have no business. There is no business. And so the customer becomes the absolutely the single most important part of the whole process. It's not about the uh, people delivering the service. First and foremost, it's the people buying the service. And I thought that's, I thought this was like sales 101. I thought everybody knew that. But you know what? Sometimes we get caught up in the things that we think are important and we forget to understand that it's all about people paying for the service. Henry Ford once said, it's not the employer who pays the wages. Employers only handle the money. It's the customer who pays the wages. I think when you come to a sales uh, organization, it's not the salesperson who pays the wages they only handle the money. It is the customer who pays the wages. It is the customer that is king. And it's all about the customer experience. And the more we as entrepreneurs, business people, professionals, the more we can focus on delivery of a good experience to our customers, the more successful we're going to be. This is Dr. Ivan Meisner, businessnetworking.com, ivanmeisner.com. Thanks for watching.